were approaching the work in a ceremonial manner. I do call on my grandmothers, especially if I'm doing women's work. It brings in ancestors, but also creating that space for Indigenous voices. Santi Smith, Dagalun Yakwa Nyung Nyats, Gongwe Hoing and Yangehaga. My name is Santi Smith, and my Ongwe Hoing name is Dagalun Yakwa, which means picking up the sky in Mohawk. I started dancing as soon as I could walk. I've been told that I would hear music and then just fall into a dream world of dance. But I started formal dance training when I was three, which is also very young because I broke both my legs and I was put into ballet to strengthen my legs. I was um, in a, two separate accidents and I broke my femur and I broke my ankle. I was in uh, the hospital for a month and then I came home and I was in a full body cast for another month. And really, after all those, I had to learn to walk three times. So my whole life really is about learning how to move. <laughs> and that's, that's just kind of been the theme. I went to the National Ballet for six years. And that was very much focused on the classical ballet, which at the time I really enjoyed. But when it came to uh, the years of teens and when you're looking for identity and what you might want to do for your whole career, I don't think I was getting fulfillment in a cultural way about who I was. And I was replicating and telling stories that were outside of my culture. And that grew weary after a while, was not satisfying. So I decided to go home, back to my community of Six Nations, and really just connect to culture. I wanted to be able to tell my stories. The move, which is very, uh, very essential to being a woman and making that connection to earth and creation, is the woman shuffle. The escanye is how we would say it. And that's a woman's dance in my community. It is everything to do about celebrating a woman, woman's body uh, and the power that she has and the power that is connected to, from her womb to the earth and to the sky. And it's related to our creation story of sky woman falling from the sky world, landing on the turtle's back, shuffling her feet in a counterclockwise direction, spreading out earth on the turtle's back, which expanded and expanded and expanded and became Turtle Island, which is North America. symbolize uh, tilling of the soil, massaging of the earth, moving the arms like you were sprinkling seeds. So it's like the woman is seeding the earth. It represents our role as sustainers of life. I did a lot of training with indigenous traditional dancers process of learning and unlearning. The balletic form generally is about escaping the earth and being uplifted, which is opposite to my indigenous dance, which is being as close to the earth as possible. So it's pretty much the opposite. When I first started to uh, explore my traditional dance and contemporary dance, I was asked to roll to the floor. Just go roll, do a roll on the floor. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't, I can't go down because uh, as a ballet dancer, you're never on the floor. And with indigenous dance, 
the source is in the ground and then it comes up through the body, which can then go high into the sky, but it's, it's, the source is low. We call on ancestors, so that's a part of the process. And I ask that creative force speak through me. Let me be a vessel to tell these stories.